Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God, God and to and you, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I that have, have greatly, greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my and words, in my words in what I have what done, I have done and, in and in what I have failed, failed to do. Through my I fault, through my fault, 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 through my through most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, I ask the Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary, ever Virgin, all the all angels, the angels and, saints, and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son has appeared in our very flesh, grant, we pray, that we may be inwardly transformed through him whom we recognize as outwardly like ourselves, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let every nation on earth, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on, earth on earth will adore, will adore you. you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted one with judgment. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on, earth on earth will adore, will adore you. you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the poor, save the children of the poor. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on, on earth, earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days in profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. 
When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and his disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Are we to buy two hundred days' wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. The people took their places in rows by hundreds and by fifties. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up twelve wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were five thousand men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. John's letter this morning reminded me of that relationship between Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit that we often describe as the Father is loving the Son, and the Son loves the Father, and the Holy Spirit is that love that is interchanged between them. And when it says, let us love one another because love is of God, It reminded me that when we begin this life and we would say in our beginning, we're not the Holy Trinity. We don't have that perfection of that recycling of love because the Son already has it with the Father, but we must receive. Love comes from God first, that we must receive from Him before then we can return it to Him and to others. To be able to love means we have to allow God to love us. Think of the disciples this morning. Think of the people following our Lord. They didn't say, oh, I'm hungry, I need to go. But to sit and receive the feeding that Christ gives. But also those disciples who immediately thought at first. He said to give them food, so therefore we have to give, feed them everything that we don't even have. But that's not what he said. To follow his commands is to allow him to love us, to simply give of what they had, allowed the miracle to take place, and our Lord to multiply from what they had. Let God love you. And that is what starts us on the way to love one another. This Holy Mass is being offered for John Maselli. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and, and earth are full, full of your, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be, done, be done, on earth as, as it is, it is in, heaven. in heaven. Give us Bust this day, this day our, our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all the stress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 
I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Because of that great love of his with which God loved us, he sent his Son in the likeness of sinful flesh.
Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>